Hello legends, today we're going to watch Ipswich Town versus Barnsley. Hello my legends, it is your boy Link, welcome back to the channel. Today Ipswich Town play Barnsley at Portman Road, so I'm going to be vlogging it, we're going to go down there, we're going to go get some lunch on the way and stuff. Liverpool also play Bournemouth, but that's a three o'clock kickoff, so I won't be able to watch that because I'll be at the Ipswich game and also three o'clock kickoffs aren't viewable in the UK, which is silly. But yeah, I'm quite excited for today. Lots of football going on. Ipswich playing Barnsley, who obviously came down last year. They've still got quite a lot of their squad, apparently. Um, as you all know, I'm not the biggest follower of like League One and the Championship. Like, I'm not an encyclopedia of football knowledge when it comes to like the lower leagues. I don't really watch it unless it's Ipswich. I might watch the old um, Sunderland game as well because I used to live in Sunderland. But other than that, it's rare I watch lower leagues. I'm much more likely to watch like a Serie A game or something like that. But yeah, today we go to Portman Road to watch Ipswich vs Barnsley. I do think Ipswich will win. Ipswich has been brilliant form, top of the league at the moment. Um, seem to be beating everyone. But it's my first competitive game of the season. Um, I did go to a pre-season friendly, which was good fun, and we vlogged that, so check that out after this video if you haven't seen it yet. But yeah, today, Ipswich vs Barnsley. And it's vlogged. I just opened a beer and it went wrong. I got absolutely covered. Not good. So I'm just watching the last half hour of Soccer AM with a little beer. Um, I love Soccer AM. It's not what it used to be, but it's still, it's still great. It's not, I used to love it, but it's, it's not as good, but it is still good. Like it's, don't explain it. It's a little bit like how I feel about Ipswich Town. Like it's, it's good, but it used to be great. So you're going for some pre-game food at the Mermaid because it's like 10 minutes walk to the stadium from it, so it works well. Olivia Tree, pretty much fine. I didn't have apples, so I just had to get I've got the cowboy burger with bacon and cheese, but I've had to take one patty out because it was too big for a marathon, but it's nice. Now going for a little walk along the river, which you now can't see as soon as I start filming. There. To get to Portland Road. To watch it, it's just I had to get a picture with my guy crazy before the game because I am a massive, massive child. One. 
half time in game one. The first half of the Ipswich did well. They didn't really create much, but they did have most of the possession, so hopefully they'll turn it around second half and just make some chances. They were four or five in the half time, so I'm afraid to see that. You see, the Ipswich are really good. Quartal. Stop it, Here we go. Decided to go have a little Starbucks. I've got cookies and cream, frappuccino, and a cookie. So we're now heading back from Starbucks to go home. It is half six. Um, I'm going to keep vlogging because I haven't seen the Liverpool goals yet. So I'm going to watch match of the day at the end of this vlog. So we can, as well as the Ipswich game, we can talk about how good Liverpool were so when we get back. So yeah, so I will carry on even though the town game's done. So I'm watching Arsenal Fulham, and my girlfriend just brought me some pizza. So I'm very happy. So, just finished watching the Arsenal Fulham game, really good game, 2 1. I thought I'd just do a little sum up of today's football to finish the sort of video off. So, for me, I've just watched the Ipswich Town one again. I don't really think it's a foul. Um, watching it back, I do understand it more than when I watched it in the stadium, but I, I think it was a goal, to be fair. 
they're both at each other, so I don't, I don't really think it should be a foul. Um, lots of complaints about the referee in the stadium. Lots of complaints about it online. McKenna in his post-match interviews had a go at the ref. So I don't know. I don't think he had the worst game I've ever seen the referee have, but it wasn't great. But I think it's it was interesting. McKenna was not specifically targeting. McKenna was saying. Portland Road isn't a normal League One fixture. You've got 25,000 fans there. It's not the pressure that a normal League One stadium is. So he wants it to be taken into account when referees are selected for Portland Road in the future. Which, is it a valid point? Is it a valid point? I don't know. Does it give it such an unfair advantage if they always get like more experienced and more qualified referees? I don't know. Um, the weird lights on me is because I've got the TV on in front of me still, if I keep changing colour. But I've watched the Liverpool goals 9-0, it looked really solid. Um, it seemed like it was just a perfect performance from everyone. Klopp seems really happy, Liverpool seemed to be back. Newcastle fans should be worrying. And yeah, it just it was a great day football-wise. Just a shame Ipswich didn't nick that win. And they hit the post at the end. And to be fair, Ipswich I thought played quite well, but it was a scrappy game. And Barnsley... Barnsley wanted it to be a scrappy game. They were time wasting early on, and their goalkeeper was time wasting all the time. And they were just, you know, their little niggly fouls to break up the play. And it's quite nice though to go watch Ipswich and the team against them is playing like Ipswich are a team that a draw is a good result against. That's that's a nice feeling because I'm used to watching teams play against Ipswich and they expect to beat us. So that was quite good. But overall, Liverpool won 9 0. That's the most important news of the day. It's put me in a very good mood, which is what we want. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss my next vlog when I go to Portman Road or somewhere else to watch some football. I'm trying to put together another trip to Anfield because that's, that is mecca for me, that place. I absolutely love it. Give the video a thumbs up because if you're still watching, you obviously like this video. And comment down below what you thought of this weekend's football. What was your talking point? Is it that Salah didn't score, even though Liverpool scored nine? It's unbelievable, man. If Salah scored, I would have had a bet come in for £87 as well. So, Mo, he cost me like 90 quid, mate. Unbelievable. All I've to say is that I've been Link and you have been one of my legends. Thank you so much for watching this. I will see you real soon. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. If you've enjoyed that, you can click up here and you can watch another video of mine. Or if you really love it, if you really, really love it, or even if you just like it a little bit, go down here and subscribe to the channel. It means you'll never, ever miss what is coming up real soon.